Hey guys, welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel, I'm Genevieve. So obviously because I'm a special effects makeup artist, I've been doing a lot of, you know, creepy and gory things for Halloween this year, but some people just really like the season and, you know, not so much the gore or body painting or whatever, so we're trying to accommodate to everyone. And today we are going to be going over how to make your very own customized Halloween sweatshirt. I think this is hella cute and this is all done with stuff that you can find from a very easy like arts and craft shop or something like that. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into a voiceover. So to get started today, after you've gotten your plain jersey, we're just going to be using some acrylic paint. All of my paints I got from the warehouse, which again is just pretty much like your target. You can also use specific fabric paint, but acrylic works just as well. Then I started out by marking my design. It's kind of hard for you guys to see on here, but it just had to be dark enough for me to be able to see the outline, but light enough that it would still be able to wash out of the jersey. Next, I started marking out the cup with some tape. Then, taking a mix of dark reds and bright reds, I just started blending at the bottom of the cup, going up with yellow and white until I got the desired effect that I wanted. Then I let that dry for a bit and removed the tape. For all the other figures, I wanted them to be quite bright, so I first lay down a white base and let that dry before I started doing any of the detail work. Once all the white areas had dried overnight, I started going in with my details. First I started by laying down my orange base. Then I decided where I wanted all the folds to sit in the pumpkin and put in light and dark areas where necessary. Once I had all the details that I wanted, I then started working on the face. For the faces, I just used a mix of triangles and circles to make the eyes, tiny triangles for the noses, and then some cricket smiles for the mouth. And lastly, I went over the whipped cream just with some light grey, just to add some shadow areas. And there you have it, your very own custom jersey. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you know the drill, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below on what video you want to see me do next. When you subscribe, turn on the post notification so you get a post every time. No. Also, when you subscribe, make sure to click that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that I post. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.